Hello everyone, I'm Bob Martin from Services Etc. Carpet and Upholstery Cleaning in Hazleton, Pennsylvania and I'm going to show you how to remove dry, stubborn red wine stains from your carpet. I highly suggest you do not use this method to spot clean wool rugs and I also suggest that you pre-test any cleaning solution in an inconspicuous location so that you do not have any color loss in a more visible area. To get started, you should gather up the materials you will need and make sure they are ready to use. You are going to need some fresh 3% hydrogen peroxide, some household ammonia, and a funnel. I suggest using these products in a well-ventilated area and you may want to consider wearing protective gloves and safety glasses. You will also need a steam iron make sure it's plugged in, make sure you have some water in it and you can set the heat at about medium to start with. You can adjust later on as needed. You will need two clean spray bottles, about three to four clean white absorbent hand towels, a large tooth hair comb. In one of the spray bottles mix eight ounces of clean cold water and two tablespoons of white vinegar. In the other spray bottle, mix equal amounts of the hydrogen peroxide and ammonia. I would say six ounces of each would be sufficient. Apply a liberal amount of the solution with the spray bottle onto the affected area. Again, it would be wise to pre-test this solution in an inconspicuous location first to make sure there would be no color damage or adverse reaction. Take one of your white towels, soak it in cold water, wring it out so it's damp, fold it twice so you have four layers, and, a, and place it over the affected area. Take your iron and carefully place it over the towel and begin to move it gently backwards and forwards. The heat will draw the stain into the white towel. After a few passes with my iron, I flip over my towel and you can see that the red stain is beginning to transfer into my towel. I'm also looking to see if there's any dye transfer or color transfer from the carpet into the towel. At this point, if I saw any color transfer, I would immediately stop and take my fresh water with the vinegar, spray it on, and blot with my other dry clean white towel. Again, I would like to stress the importance of pre-testing any cleaning solution. You can test the carpet inside a closet or behind a door, but you want to make sure there is no color loss or adverse reactions. As long as your stain continues to transfer color into your white towel, you should keep going. As the towels become saturated with color, you can change off to another clean damp towel. Make sure the towels stay damp. Once there is no longer any color transfer from your stain into the towel, you should now change over to a dry towel and the spray bottle containing the vinegar water mixture. Use the dry towel to blot up any remaining moisture in the carpet. Spray a liberal amount of the vinegar water and again blot the area dry and then you can repeat this step. Then you can use a blow dryer to accelerate the drying time. When using your dry towel, always blot and never rub. Rubbing could distort the lay of the carpet's pile. When using your damp towels, make sure to keep them damp. When using the hair dryer and the iron, remember not to use them near water and they can burn your carpet. I don't recommend using this method for wool rugs and carpeting and should only be used on stubborn red wine stains where traditional spot cleaners have already been tried.
You can also use this method for acidic red dyes such as red Kool-Aid. After you finish drying the carpet, you can take a large tooth hair comb and just groom through the pile to make everything look nice and uniform.